Meeting call to order. Today is Monday, June 24th. It is now 6 p.m. Town Council meeting in Town Council Chambers, 1170 Main Street, West Warwick, Rhode Island, for fiscal year 20 public hearing. Budget public hearing. Councilman Lachardi? Here. Councilman Mess here? Not here. Councilwoman Williamson? Here. Council Vice President D'Amico? He's not present. Council President Goslin? Here. There is a quorum. Public hearing on proposed FY fiscal year 20, July 1st, 2019 through June 30th, 2020 municipal budget. Ernie, you just want to give us a brief summary, then we'll move into public sure. comment. Uh, on uh, Tuesday, June 11th, the council held a workshop to discuss a uh, revised budget to uh, the voters for July 11th. And uh, the result of that meeting were reductions on the proposed budget of $257,500, uh, many items in capital, some training money, and, and uh, uh, less uh, uh, contribution to the OPEP account, and the workers' compensation was reduced $50,000. The bill was actually received uh, uh, lower than what we had budgeted. Uh, some training and again some capital items totaling $257,500. So the, the revised budget is approximately, well, again, when you look at the budget, we have the state aid, and when you take out the state aid, the increase in the overall budget is 1.6%. Uh, uh, one million six hundred and seventy three thousand uh, dollars so that's really the, the budgetary impact and uh, with that that's uh, my opening remarks so you're looking at a 1.6 percent tax increase. yes that's what the uh, the uh, budgetary increase would be 1.6 percent on the expenditure side uh, when you take out the additional state aid the budget's higher, but when you look at the school state aid and the reimbursement for the uh, motor vehicle tax, the true increase that's funded by tax dollars is uh, a 1.6 percent increase in the, in the budget. And uh, the levy increase would be uh, from the amount of dollar increase from taxes from 2019 to 2020 would be 2.65%, uh, that's 2.65%. So uh, the budget has been reduced and uh, based upon the discussions with the council. Thank you. <clears throat> Anything from the council? It's a public hearing. Who wants to go first? There's two, three, four, five, six of you in the crowd. Whoever wants to go first. I'll you just have to come up to the mic and state your name and address. I'll make trouble with this. I'm Jim Massavoni, 120 Circle Drive, West Warwick. And I've been looking at this budget, and uh, I can see where there could be many changes made into it. Essentially, I went through the whole thing, and I made up a budget of my own. I set two criteria for all the line items from the summary page. First criteria was uh, it had to be a number higher than the four-year average. Second criteria had to be a number higher than fiscal year 19. And uh, I came up with about $1.8 million savings over what uh, you people had. Like the um, one I was thinking about was, uh, actually it's a small one, it's the street lighting one. We had a street lighting project going on the last couple of years. And fiscal years 16, 17, and 18 was, um, 485,000, 107,000, 92,000, and it looks like it's probably going to come in about 12,000 for fiscal year 19. <clears throat> no? No, that's, that's wrong. Well, for your actual number for eight months ending February, you had um, 7,663. What page of the budget is the street lighting? This is the summary page. Well, the summary page. The actual number as of 624 is 74,094. Yeah, pay that once. It's not paid on a regular basis. Ah, so I'm working with it. And, and you'll find that there's timing in several of the items that, that are in the summary page. Ernie, you might like to speak to that. Right, so what you'll see is uh, we have, you know, the general expenses that hit every, uh, every week, you know, payroll, things of yeah. that nature. But there are expenses that 
are not credited on a daily basis. Contributions on health care, uh, those are not made on a, a daily or weekly basis. They're transfers uh, that come into the uh, line items. Uh, pension contributions happened at certain times throughout the year. And there's always, uh, so there is a lag sometimes for line items that appear for revenues. Mm -hmm. So it's not always the same. It depends upon the type of expense. And, uh, you know, uh, utilities, for example, utilities are always behind because just like a homeowner, you know, you get them in arrears and you pay them. So uh, there are many expenses that uh, occur not on a regular cycle. So to look at a number without knowing a little bit of background about the type of Well, yeah, no, I understand that. Uh, yeah. They're not going to be correct. Uh, it wouldn't be a correct analysis. Well, let, let me go back to 2016 yeah. when you saw 485000 That was when National Grid was doing, that was before we got into the contract with PRISM. Mm -hmm. And we obviously went to LED lighting throughout the entire yeah, town. Yeah, I remember that. We took that. PRISM in. And then we did reduce to actual 107000 and then the actual 92000 for 2018 and then 2019, right now we're at 74,000. Um, that also includes maintenance, and what we also had to include this year was if you see what National Grid's doing, they're putting all these poles in and whatever it is um, f for the New London Avenue uh, new plant over here in New London. Well, National Grid used to put our lights up for us because it was their contract. Well, they don't do that anymore. So we actually have to call Prism, get them out. They also charge us for each additional light that they're going to put up. So okay, so this number is totally wrong then. Yeah. Well, it could well, be a lot. It could be. It, it's going to be that we're hoping that we stay under 155. But again, um, that's we've we've stayed under 155 for the last three years. Okay, well, that's good. When will 11 months or 12 months of these numbers be available? Sometime in July, sometime in August? Actually, that was posted earlier today, um, as of today. So on the on this town website, you can find a, an update, and I believe there's a packet out there. Um, well, I grabbed the packet, but I didn't like it. Packet for the 74,000. Okay, so. 94. Yes, which is would be the number as of uh, June 24th. So. Yes, that's an updated version, I believe. I'm not okay, actually, I got, this, I yeah, this is actual through 624, 2019. Right. Okay, well, that's yeah. good. Is that the same for all these you'll, you'll line find, items? Or? You'll find a lot of line items, as, as the town manager said, that, that uh, they don't come in. Uh, the expenses aren't paid rateably over the course of the year, so that's a little difficult um, to project forward. So, yes, you may find the same situation. All right, well, then I won't go further with any more of that there. I'll look at the numbers first. The other item I want to talk about is uh, this is showing a surplus of nine, ten point nine million as of February. Well, and actually, um, again, there, if you look at what was presented out there, there is a it does show a surplus of two point uh, two point eight million dollars, but uh, they would not have year end adjusting entries and or year end accruals, I believe, um, put in there. Correct. Uh, and again, in, in June, uh, what you'll see is for the end of the, end of the month, uh, usually uh, uh, for education, teachers have uh, the ability to get paid Correct. in the summer, Correct. 52 weeks. So that will be credited back. So many expenses uh, will occur after June 30th that will be pulled back into the fiscal year. Our fiscal year starts July 1st, yeah, and since uh, June 30th is ends. But again, we'll have expenses that will be credited back, utilities. Uh, is a, is a uh, real easy one because we'll be getting utility bills before June and July. Some other bills may come in August. So it takes about two months to get everything pretty much reconciled. But uh, in, uh, in July, we'll have a pretty good idea. And again, uh, individuals who in finance who work with the numbers can know what to expect. You know, what's going to be coming in in August, maybe a little bit later. Uh, state aid tends to come a little bit later. Uh, from uh, the meal, meal tax uh, revenue. So those revenues will come a little bit later. Uh, so even on June 30th, if you were to print a report, you'll see you know, maybe $2 million, but it's not going to be that way when all the numbers are put together and they're put in the right fiscal year. So all right. I, I assume anybody that looked at that report that was posted today saw that $2.8 million and got all excited, and, and we probably should have put a little disclaimer there because year-end numbers will eat up a good portion yeah, well, of I'm that. I'm not even working off year and, and numbers. I'm working off numbers that are only eight months rather than close Correct. to 12 months. Correct. All right, then. But, oh. but 
thank you for taking a look at it, and thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah, I can see it, not many. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyone else? Public comment? Burr? Molly and Monterey Drive, uh, Mr. President. Where was the savings on this wind farm that we have? That's on the credits. It's actually. Uh, have, have we uh, made any money on that, or? Well, what's happening with that? Going through, we just hired a new uh, person to control our credits on that because we had a couple hundred thousand credits sitting yeah, sitting there doing nothing. You're kidding and me. We, how much did we just sell them for? I think this uh, first uh, batch was like maybe forty-five, fifty thousand. Uh, nice. Was uh, very recently. How, how, how much did we have? A couple hundred thousand credits. Does that does that relate that into money? About fifty thousand dollars. Wow. And what do we do with that money? We just cashed it in. And where did that go? That's going to go back into the general fund. Well, yeah, offset. Goes, offset the. Uh, right. Yeah. Right, there's an energy fund, uh, but also, again, when we set the rates in our budget for electricity, uh, that's the expenses we have uh, for the, the turbines, so uh, the solar, the solar uh, uh, energy. So what we're doing is, you know, taking the annual debt service plus the fees, you know, for maintenance and operation, and that number is spread out between the town and wastewater department. So that's the items that are budgeted. So that's how the electric uh, numbers are, are, are budgeted here. Also, when the turbines produce more energy than what we need, we can sell them on the open market. And we just hired a, uh, a firm to assist us doing that. So as we go forward, and the more we generate, we'll be able to sell them and that will lessen the cost overall going forward. So the, the first thing is we have to pay our debt service and our expenses, and then above that, these credits will, if you want to say, be a profit or be re revenue back into the system. So as time goes on, that'll be uh, more of a plus to us, right? Well, it, it, it what, will be what a plus. is it now? Kind of a, a negative thing? Well, it, it's break even right now to a little bit good. The more credits we we sell, those are all extra. Because the rates are set to cover our expenses, so all these the credits we generate to sell, that's going to be more money going back in to the fund, and overall less increases going forward. So, uh, Bert, to, to put it to you easy, it's it's you. basically all electric bills have been paid. We just sold the credits. We ended up with, and that's from two year, a couple of years worth of credits. It was fifty thousand dollars. So we are above where we thought we would be. We so, are making money. On so, Ernie, the money that's going back into the fund is just is going to sit there, pretty much accumulate well, over the years. Well, again, uh, the, the money we have an energy fund, and that's the energy fund is where the uh, revenues the the, uh, the revenues go, and that's where the bills come out. So, the more credits we have, the more funds we have, uh, they would be there and could be utilized to offset. You know future increases, so uh, that we have. You know because we always have maintenance costs, all those costs, so they're there. So once you know enough funds are there, we can factor those back into the budget. So the rating of the electricity will not be as expensive in like uh, next year. Right. All right. So if we expect if we expect our bills to be a hundred dollars. And we have five dollars in that energy fund. Hypothetically, we would only be <coughs> have to budget ninety-five dollars. Right. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Bert. <coughs> Any other public comment? Um, again, <coughs> the tax, the budget before you includes a one point six percent tax increase. Um, we have another meeting tomorrow night <coughs> at six o'clock. And um, then immediately following, if there's no changes, the council will be voting on the budget to bring before the voters and the taxpayers of West Walk. So, and that'll be July 
Financial oh. town meeting is on the 9th. July 9th. And the all day referendum is on the July 11th. 11th. Any questions? Sir? Hold on, Bert. What's the, uh, have you guys gone over what the 12,000 is? Yes. <clears throat> we, we can answer that for you. It might change this major, but yes. Brian Murphy, 32, uh, 34 Clyde Street. Brian, um, so your question is what yeah, the tax rates going to be? and for multifamilies, if that has been. Uh, um, Ernie, do we have this solidified numbers on that? I know it dropped just a little. Right. Uh, oh, a little, but. Well, again, the, uh, the residential single family, uh, the rate as of now would be $22.57, which is a 14 cent reduction from uh, the original proposed budget on uh, May 23rd. You said uh, 22, what? Uh, 2257, which is 14 cents less than the budget that was presented on May 23rd. Uh, what, what classification were you interested in? Well, I have, I have a two family that I live in and then. So that, that's two family owner occupied? Yes. That's the 2257. Right, and then we have a three family uh, non next door, non owner occupied. Okay, that would be the next range up would be 3405, and that's a. What's five, the previous rate before that, though? Because uh, I used to just widen. Yeah, on, it on, rate well, on May uh, on May 23rd, uh, that residential code three apartment, it was 3410. So it's no, no. I'm, I'm talking about this year. What, oh. What's his rate rate this second? Yeah, for, for three co code three. It's on the door outside. 3920 maybe. There you go. Because yeah, the assessments went up quite a bit. When they just redid the assessments on the houses, yeah. so it was, right. so was thirty nine twenty yeah. prior to this. Okay, the so that went down to 35. 30, 34. 34. Yes. All right. Is that online? Well, not the proposed rate. Not yet, but okay. it will be. And then we'll once we pass a budget and approve a budget, we'll make that clear to everyone, and it'll be part of our um, yeah, so education okay. and publication of what's going on. And then the tomorrow's board. meeting is the same as this, pretty much. It's exactly. Pretty much. The same. Okay. Yeah. And what we're going to do after that meeting, we're going to close that meeting, we'll open up another meeting as a council meeting, vote on the budget. If there's no changes, we're going to vote on it. Then that's, that'll be the budget that's brought before the financial okay. town meeting. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bert. Bert Mollahan, Monterey Drive. Mr. President, I know at the last meeting we had, you were going to do, uh, discuss ways about putting up signs throughout the community, vote in favor of, uh, of no, the budget. We're not going to Something like they did in, in Coventry. Well, Coventry had their own campaign going. Um, personally, I mean, did you guys we're discuss gonna it at all? It. We're going to advertise at the financial town meeting in the all-day referendum. Um, but what about before? I mean, putting signs on the lawns and, and well, th that know, seems to work too. It, that, that all depends. And, I, and I'll tell you now, um, I found it interesting in Coventry because they would put them all over town property and I, I don't think we can do that. What they did was not uh, per se legal. You can't take political signs like that, vote yes on the budget or vote yes because we can't afford no or whatever. And, and we as council people can't go put that on town property and start. And they did that all over. They had a lot of houses too, don't get me wrong, but they had it on islands, they had it all over town property. And I, I don't think we're gonna get in the middle of that. But we are gonna probably ask the police chief to put the the uh, mobile sign over here in Arctic to let people know that the old day referendum is uh, on July 11th. And we'll probably get out there and tell people to get out there to vote. I'll be honest, I said it publicly, we, we did not do that last time. And we, and we misinformed, we weren't, we weren't the most informative as far as everybody's out there thinking it was a 4% tax increase, right. it was a 1.7% tax increase. It was a misinformation at that time. It was so, and, and that's what a lot of people heard. And the other thing that I heard was, oh, cut the schools. No matter what this budget does, there's only one item that this council can cut from the school department because they're level funded. And the only item is the SRO officer. That is it. Everything else, the school stays the same. There's nothing, they are bound by Title 16. They get the same dollar amount no matter what. And we also discussed 
maybe the possibility of uh, putting out uh, questions and answers, maybe 10 or 15 or 20, something that could be passed out, yes. which, which would be helpful uh, for the Canvas Board as we're sitting there because we have a lot of people that come up and ask us questions. And well, we can hand that wait, out. A minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You cannot advocate, you should know this, you cannot advocate a position. No, no we aren't doing that. No, no, inside, outside after the 50-foot rule, Anybody can be out there advocating a position for or advocating a position against. You as the Board of Canvases can't answer questions. This, this isn't advocating for, for anything. This is just questions and answers. So there's not disinformation out so there. So we're going we're yes. to build a well, board. Th that's, that's, that's what you need. We're going to put an easel in there with question and answers. So right. when somebody comes up, there, they can go read that. And get, we'll take the top 10 questions and top 10 answers. Right, so, and, and then there won't be any disinformation there. That's and that's what we need. We didn't. won't be responsible for answering questions about the budget. If you answer questions about Bert the Bert will be responsible for answering questions. I'll be responsible That's for right. that. <laughs> They're Thanks. still going to come and talk to us. They know, and, and I did make that clear that, you know, I, I asked if we could have somebody in there to answer questions. Um, it was under the opinion from the state that we could, and it was under the opinion on our end that we couldn't. So. You know, I, I personally still believe somebody should be up there to answer questions. And, but. First off, first off, that's not, the state said no. Wait a minute. Wait. I got the email that says the state says no. he does not find any problem with it. No, he said there's no state law addressing it. But the well, problem that's, is. That's good if there's no state you law. You well, said there was a problem. Well, I'm saying there is because you can't advocate for or against. The Board of Elections said there's no state law against it. We're, we're going to make sure we get so much information out before them, we won't have to do that. How's that? Right. We, don't have, we won't have to do this again. No, and it's know. important to get the information out, and that's yes, what happened it the is. last yes, time. Yes, it is. It is. Absolutely. Thank you, Bert. Any other comment? Hearing none. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. We'll see you tomorrow night, 6 p.m. He said, well, he is a fan of communication, if I remember correctly.